Dr. Kina here, your favorite nationally certified personal trainer. And here are five things that you should not do if you are a personal training client. Number one, you should not lie. In the very beginning, we will have a consultation, and this is where we will discuss information such as medications that you're taking and old injuries. And so say, for instance, you are on a beta blocker, um, which prevents your you know, heart rate from getting too elevated. And we are relying on, let's say, gadgets to keep your heart rate in a particular target heart rate zone. Well, the medication's job is to prevent your heart rate from getting a certain, you know, height or whatever. And so if you don't let your personal trainer know that, they will be constantly pushing up the speed or having you to try to go harder, trying to reach a number that you won't realistically be able to reach because of the medication that you're taking. And it can cause you a lot of discomfort. So do not lie. And for a lot of times, you may forget that you're taking certain medications or that you've had certain surgeries, as soon as you remember, please let your personal trainer know. Number two, the second thing that you should not do is hire a personal trainer for the wrong reasons. I remember there was a lady that signed up with me for personal training and I asked her, you know, what is your reason for having a personal trainer? Like, what is your motivation? And she went on to disclose to me that her husband, um, you know, talked about her, dogged her out, made her feel worthless because she had gained weight. And the only reason that she was hiring a personal trainer is to try to appease him. But she was miserable the entire time while she was working out with me because she really did not want to be there. She wasn't there for herself. She was there for him. I am happy to say that she ended up divorcing him as you know, she should. Nobody should be belittled, lower rated, talked about, and, you know, humiliated in a relationship. Love does not hurt. So do not hire a personal trainer for the wrong reasons. Um, number three, do not hire a personal trainer if you're looking for quick results. You know, we do certain things like, you know, we get a haircut and we buy a pair of shoes and, you know, we get quick gratification from that. If you are looking for quick gratification or you know quick results, then hiring a personal trainer is not for you because it's going to take a minimum of six weeks for you to at least start to see some outward um, you know, results. Now, there will be some changes happening internally, but you won't be able to visually see any results for about six weeks. So you wanna make sure that you you know plan to be with your personal trainer for, for a minute. You know, It's a relationship, it's a long-term relationship. Um, so yeah, don't expect quick results results. Um, number four, when you are working with your personal trainer, do not be distracted. Okay. So when you are, you know, with your trainer, that's your time to focus on your training, to focus on your exercises, you know, to take direction, to, you know, talk about what's going on, what equipment you're going to use next. But if you're constantly answering the phone and, you know, doing a text message or trying to listen to this and trying to do that, then you're not really focused and engaged in your workout. And it's kind of, you know, you're not getting what you paid for. So try not to be distracted. You know, when you're working Working out with your trainer for that 30 45 or 60 minutes you know try to put your phone on do not disturb if possible um, so that you can get the full you know amount of what you pay for get the best out of your workout um, and last but not least do not hire a personal trainer if you're not going to be consistent one thing about seeing results is consistency. Consistency is key. If you want to see results, you can't hire a personal trainer and then work out one day this week and then you don't see your trainer again for another, you know, three weeks or four weeks and then you complain because you haven't seen any results, okay? So if you said, I wanna work out with the trainer two or three times a week, then that's what you should expect to do for at least a minimum of six weeks, okay? So you all let me know if you wanna see a part two to, you know, things that you should not do. Also, I hope that you have found this information valuable, useful, helpful, and as always, with peace, love, and positive energy.